Yo, what's going on guys? This is Easy Tech 231 here back again with another video. And today we're going to be taking a look at Google Camera. So just a little while ago, Google released their own camera application for anybody to download uh, through the Google Play Store as long as you're using, as long as you are running Android 4.4, KitKat, or higher. So if you're still stuck on Jelly Bean, Unfortunately, you will not be able to take advantage of this camera, uh, but you know, hopefully, depending on what phone you have, you will be getting that 4.4 update pretty soon. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the camera itself. This was just released yesterday, as of this video, and so basically, we're getting a whole new interface and user experience. So here we've got our shooting modes. Here we've got Photosphere, Panorama, Lens Blur, which is their new feature that they're focusing on. Uh, no pun intended. Um, camera mode as well as uh, video mode. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look here. We've got our exposure. Um, you can turn the guy lines on and off. We've got HDR. You can toggle your flash and switch to your front-facing camera. You swipe, swipe, blah, 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 blah. swipe in from the left-hand side. You can get to your settings button here. Uh, oh, yeah, you can also do that as well. You can, you know, just like the previous versions, you can slide in from the right-hand side and get to your other pictures that you have taken before. All right, so let's go ahead and do that again. There you go. Let's get to our settings here. And here you can change your resolution and quality uh, for your front-facing camera as well as your back-facing uh, camera. You can change the resolution for your video. Uh, you can change the quality for lens blur, photosphere, and panorama. Very simple. Nothing too crazy in the settings. Um, and you can also turn manual exposure on and off. That actually doesn't really work too well for me. Uh, sometimes it just won't change at all. Uh, sometimes it will. It's, it's, it's a little on and off. Kind of, it's, it's, it's a little strange, but hopefully, you know, it'll be updated. Hopefully, it's just that's just for me. Hopefully, it's not a thing throughout the application itself. All right, so let's go ahead and I'm going to show you guys Lens Blur, which is their new, um, you know, feature that they have here. If you guys, you guys know the HTC One M8 with its dual camera, uh, you know, with that dual camera, you can take pictures and, you know, you can focus on, you know, anything that you want to in that picture uh, after you've already taken the picture. So um, now Google is firing back saying you know we can do that with software you don't have to have two cameras on the back just to do that uh, we're gonna do it with software so this is how it works so you've got lens blur on right now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how this works alright so what we're gonna do here we're gonna take a picture and then it's gonna tell us to slowly move the camera up in this direction um, as opposed to slowly up in this direction <laughs> alright so let's go ahead and take a picture and then slowly raise your device to keep and keep the subject centered. We successfully uh, did what it told us to do. Then you slide in from the right and it'll process the image and from here we will be able to do our refocusing. Alright so it has successfully processed the image so now what we can do we can go into uh, this editing mode here and we can tap on whatever we want to focus on it so if I wanted to I could tap on the Mac and it'll focus on the Mac everything will be blurred out. So let's go ahead and just focus on the Rubik's Cube here we can increase the blur, uh, so to speak, and all right, we'll run with that, and then we hit done, and then it'll just render the image, and it'll look like we just took our you know professional camera out and just took a picture of the Rubik's cube and then loaded it on our phone. I mean, it, this is really cool. Um, like I said, Google's just answering back to everybody else that has this feature on their phones now, uh, like Samsung. I think Nokia, you know, it's got something going on with their phones as well, where you can do your after focus type effect, and now you can just do it very easily here in just one application so as you can see um, if you saw in the settings I had the high quality turned on so if you're going to do this definitely do the high quality because uh, before I when I was actually trying this out myself um, yesterday when it first came out I was actually saying why is it such bad quality in lens blur and then I had to go in the settings and say oh there it goes you know I have to turn on high quality so that's what you should do so everything in the background is just blurred out and it's got a nice nice effect it's really cool and uh, I think I did it with this here. Yeah, as you can see, that's that's really nice too. So I would definitely recommend you guys trying this out. Um, you know, you can show your friend who just got the HTC One HTC One M8. Hey, I can do the same thing you can do, and I didn't have to get a new phone. And mine only has two cameras. All right, so that's pretty much it, guys. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Definitely stay tuned for future videos. I plan to be putting out more, uh, hopefully pretty soon. So again, thank you for watching. Hit that subscribe button as well as that like button. Share this video with your friends. And uh, yeah, follow me on Twitter at EasyTech231. And uh, I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.